Before you listen to this video lesson on Music Arts Physical Education in Health Grade 7 Week 6 Bring out the things you need like your book and module in Week 6 first quarter and listen carefully to this video lesson Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lesson Stay safe and happy studying Let us begin Music Classification of Musical Instruments of Lowland Luzon Week 4 Day 1 Identifies the musical instruments and other sound sources from Lowland Luzon Folk songs are expressions of the people's culture and tradition in relation to their environment and people around them Luzikong Boombong is a marching band using woodwind instruments made of bamboo their instruments have similar characteristics that brass band instruments usually have. Felix Ramos, founded Muzikong Boombong, and Barrio Tansuya, Malabon in 1896. Pankat Kawayan, or more popularly known as the Singing Bamboos of the Philippines, is a well-known orchestra for their unique music played by unconventional bamboo instruments. Pankat Kawayan was founded in September 6, 1966. Victor O. Toledo is the present leader and manager of Pankat Kawayan. The Philippine Brass Band, composed of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments, making a complete ensemble. They are present during feasts, religious, and civic occasions. It can play in various genres such as folk songs, popular music, and dance music. Activity 1. Sing it. Post it, make an improvised instrument using the available materials from your home, and sing a teen chu pong sing sing with it. You can perform with your family. Post it in your Facebook or YouTube account. Rubrics? Criteria. Mastery 15 points very good. Vocal quality 15 points very good. Improvised instruments 15 very good. You can also rate yourself by using this rubrics. Activity 2 Beat COVID-19. Compose a song about the pandemic. COVID-19 to the tune of Laron Laron Senta, with the instrument of your choice that is available in your home. It can tackle different issues such as its causes, prevention, effects to people in the world, etc. Share the video with your friend's eye in Facebook. Rubrics Criteria 15 Very Good 10 Good 5 Rubrics for Performance Criteria are Lyrics are 15 points which means The lyrics are extremely catchy and describe the topic well. Presentation is 15 points The presentation is creative and very well thought. Activity 3 Tick the Talk Do you enjoy enjoy TikTok? Do you like to dance? Dance to the song Magtanum AD Biro in TikTok, with accompaniment made from recyclable materials, and upload it to your favorite app TikTok or other social media account. Rubrics for the Activity 3 Criteria Use of technology is 15 points, which means creatively uses the camera and the unique elements and angles in TikTok. Choreography is 15 points, creates greater than 4 movement combinations, presentation is 15 points, creative and very well though, all in all 45 points for this activity. Arts, famous architectural landmarks in Olongapo, Zambales and Nueva Ecija and Bataan, Grade 7 Arts Week 6 Day 2, who, shows the relationship of Luzon, Highlands and Lowlands, Arts and Crafts to Philippine Culture, Traditions, and History, Islamic Influences, Spanish Heritage, and American Legacies in Education, Business, Modernization, and Entertainment, as well as in Indigenous Practices, Fiestas, and Religious and Social Practices, Code, A7PRE4. The Spanish Gate is one of the historic landmarks located in Olongapo City, 
Zambales. It was built in 1885. It faced the Spanish era settlement of Olongapo and used to serve as the west gate of the armory of the town. It has tall walls made from locally quarried stone connected to the south gate that faced the waterfront. Aside from as being used as an entrance and exit to the naval station, it was also used as jail during the Spanish and American occupations. The San Andres Apostol Parish Church of Masanloc, Zambales, is known for the use of coral stones instead of adobe. It was founded by the Augustian Recollects in 1607. The front of the church is divided into triangular pediment, two horizontal sections and three vertical cones. The left portion is extended to form the bell tower. The lowest level contains niches for saints. The second level has a rectangular window and curved niches of the patron saints. Carving of a medallion and other geometric shapes can be found in the pediment. The belfry is composed of circular columns topped by a lantern and a cross. The parish of the Three Kings in Gapon City, is one of the biggest and the oldest churches in Nueva Ecija. This Roman Catholic church was built in 1800s. It has huge side doorways, two standing images of their patron saints on both sides of the doorways, and a mural of the Holy Trinity on the ceiling all of which are characteristics of a western architecture. A Bucay church or the Saint Dominic de Guzman Parish Church, established in 1587 by the Dominicans, is an example of Renaissance architecture because of its vertically single or double divided columns, and triangular pediments. It has five layer bell tower ornamented with semicircular arched windows, Saint Dominic was a Castilian priest and founded the Dominican Order. Saint Dominic is the patron saint of astronomers. There was a conglomeration of factors that led to the presence of Baroque elements in the architecture of the Philippines, specifically in church architecture. During the Spanish colonial period, 1521 to 1898, Spanish missionaries arrived, sharing not only their religion but also their architecture, inspired from their native land. The Spaniards wished to create permanent, long-lasting churches as a testament to the power of God, and did not consider the current church structures in the Philippines as proper places to worship. As most Spanish missionaries were not trained in architecture or engineering, the local townspeople including Filipinos and Chinese migrants, alongside the Spanish friars would take part in the building and design of local churches. The combination of ideas from the missionaries and locals effectively fused native Spanish designs with a uniquely oriental style. The church's aesthetic was also shaped by limited access to certain materials, and the need to rebuild and adapt to natural disasters including fires and earthquakes creating a style sometimes referred to as Earthquake Baroque. The churches display certain characteristics that express a fortress structure such as thick walls and high facades that offer protection from marauders and natural disasters like earthquakes and alike. According to historians, egg whites were used as ingredient of mortars. These are used to bind materials for the construction of churches and other architectural structures during the Spanish colonial period in the Philippines. The egg yolks and egg whites were separated. The egg whites were mixed with lime, sand, and water and some special ingredients to make the mortar. What to do? Based on the pictures of the churches from Isabella, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, and Zambales. Complete the chart below. Column number 1 is the famous architecture in central Luzon. Column number 2 is the year that the structures are built. Column number 3 is the materials used to build these buildings. Column number 4 are the distinct feature of each tourist spot. Column number 5 are the design used to adore these structures. Complete the paragraph. Structures? The Spaniards introduced Leche Flan. Pastillas de leche and yemas in the Philippines. Egg yolk is the main ingredient of these desserts and separated from the egg whites. According to historians, 
Egg whites were used as ingredient of mortars. These are used to bind materials for the construction of churches and other architectural structures during the Spanish colonial period in the Philippines. The egg yolks and egg whites were separated. The egg whites were mixed with lime, sand, and water and some special ingredients to make the mortar. The egg yolks, instead of being discarded, were used to make leche flans and other delicacies. P. Fundamental Skills, Arnis, Grade 7 Music Week 6 Day 3, executes the skills involved in the sport. Code, P7G's LDH4. Determining my heart rate at rest, use your index and middle fingers. Place these two fingers on your wrist, just below the base of the thumb. Count the number of heartbeats for 6 seconds. Take this number and multiply by 10 to find your heart rate in beats per minute. For example, if you count 7 beats, 7 beats x 10 equals 70 beats per minute. Warm up activities. Jog in place, 1 minute. Side shuffle, left foot leading, for 20 seconds. Side shuffle, right foot leading, for 20 seconds. Karaoke, left foot leading, for 10 seconds. Karaoke, right foot leading, for 10 seconds. Butt kicks for 10 seconds. High knees for 10 seconds. C stick exercises. Wrist rotation, 16 counts. Crossed arm wrist rotation, 16 counts. Wing stretcher, 16 counts. Upward and downward exercises, 16 counts. Letter D Blocking Techniques Blocking Technique Number 1, Inward Block Place free hand on the stick From forward stance, shift body obliquely Parry inward Blocking Technique Number 2, Outward Block Free hand rotates the stick downward Shift body obliquely on the opposite side Parry outward Blocking Technique Number 3, Rising Hold the stick parallel to the ground Waist level, push the stick upward, over the head. Blocking technique number 4 downward inward. From fighting stance, shift to back stance, lower the body, extend weapon hand, palm up. Blocking technique number 5, downward outward. From fighting stance, shift to back stance, lower the body, extend weapon hand, palm down. Blocking technique number 6, Vertical block. From fighting stance, raise the elbow of the hand holding the cane to shoulder level. Place the free hand at the middle. F assessment rating blocking technique. Inward block, outward block. Rising, downward inward, downward outward. Vertical block. Using the rating scale below, I can assess my performance on the following skills accordingly. Rating. A. I can practice the skill by myself. B. I can practice the skill with others. C. I need to spend more time practicing executing the skill properly. Health. Health appraisal. Grade 7 Health Week 6 Day 4. Explains proper health appraisal procedures. Demonstrates health appraisal procedures during adolescence to achieve holistic health. Code. H7GD2J22 slash H7GD2J23 Holistic welfare can be achieved by practicing good health and submitting to screen tests. Breast self-examination checks for unusual lumps. Dental examination keeps you informed of any dental problems. Hearing test evaluates hearing and potential hearing loss. Height and weight taking keeps you idea about growth and if you are in your ideal weight. Medical examination keeps you informed about your general health status. Scoliosis test informs you of any spine curvature of your spine. Vision test measures visual acuity. Activity equipment procedure performer partner. Number 1. Weight taking weight the heaviness or lightness of a person. Scoring. Record body mass to the nearest 0.5 kg. Weighing or bathroom scale calibrated properly. Performer, wear light clothing before weighing. Partner, A, on bare feet. 
stand erect and still with weight evenly distributed on the center of the scale. B. Score in kilograms. Height taking height the distance between the feet on the floor to the top of the head in standing position. Scoring. Record standing height to the nearest 0.1 cm 1 meter equals 100 cm. Tape measure laid flat to a concrete wall. The zero point starts at the bottom of the floor, L square, and, an even and firm floor and flat wall, for the performer, A, stand erect on bare feet with heels, buttocks, and shoulders pressed against the, the wall where the tape measure is attached, for the partner, place the L square against the wall with the base at the top of the head of the person being tested. Make sure that the L square when placed on the head of the student is straight and parallel to the floor. B. Record the score in meters. Medical examination. Procedure. Fill up the following information. Name, birthday, age, address, complaints, vital signs to be taken by the nurse, temperature, blood pressure. The physician or doctor performs the following. Number 1 lungs. Check the airways, lungs, by doing inhale and exhale placing the stethoscope in front, breast, and back for the presence of phlegm. Number 2 eyes, checking your eyes. Number 3 ears. Number 4 skin, check the appearance of the skin. Number 5 ask certain questions about complaints or discomfort you are experiencing. Number 6 required certain laboratory test is optional. Depends on the degree or extent of signs and symptoms being observed. Answer the following health checklist. Place a tick on the yes or no column according to your answer. Are you in good health? Are you under medical treatment now? If yes, what is the condition being treated? Have you ever had a serious illness or surgical operation? If yes, what illness or operation have you ever been hospitalized? If yes, when, and why you were hospitalized? Are you taking prescription or non-prescription medication? If yes, please specify. Do you use tobacco products? Do you use alcohol, cocaine, or other dangerous drugs? Are you allergic to any of the following? Local anesthetic, penicillin, antibiotics, sulfa drugs, aspirin, latex, others? Please write your reflections for days 1 to 4. Weekly module will be given by your teacher. IT will be posted in your designated Facebook Messenger group chat. For deepening of the lessons in every component, 